moving along, let's discuss variables in JavaScript. Now let's say that you have a website and you have many users who are visiting your website and you would want to create a custom alert box, something along the lines of alert. And then you would write over here, hello there. And then you would want uh, the name of the user who is visiting your website to show up here. But here's the comes the problem. What are you going to write? Are you going to write, hello there, Bob? Well, what if the Bob is not the one who is visiting? What about if it's Susie? So you would need to have something that would actually store the value of the user, store the value So you'd need something that would store the value of the username. And then whenever you need to displace that username and actually prints it out in alert box. So here comes the variables and variables are like containers that actually store values in JavaScript. So whenever JavaScript wants to use those values, it actually goes for that container and uses that value. So you don't need to print it again and again, and again. So let's look at how we can create variables. First thing we would need to do, we would need to create a var keyword over here. And then we would need to come up with a name for the, our variable. In this case, I'm going to write username. But actually, we can name our variables however we would want. So then I have to use the assign, the equal sign over here. And then I would need to come up with the value that my username variable would hold. So in this case, Bobby is visiting the website. And so he writes his name. So our username now holds the value of Bob. So I put a semicolon here at the end of the statement. And now you can see that we have created our first variable that has a name of username and has the value of Bob. Now what's so special about it? Well, here's the key. I can right now right here in my alert box. I'm just going to create a space. And I can write over here username. And now when I save this, you can see over here, hello there, Bob. Again, you can say, well, what's so special about it? I could have written here, Bob. Well, yeah, but that's the key. Right now, if I go back to my username and I actually type Susie and save it again, now I can see that it's typing Susie. So you get the idea. Right now, the variable username is actually a container that stores multiple values. I can write whatever I would want over here and, and actually the computer is going to be displaying on a page. Now here are some key things about variables. First of all, variables can hold as many names or as many values, I'm sorry, uh, as you would want. But however, they can only display one at a time. So let me show you that by example. So let's say Susie has left and let's say that Timmy came over. Eh, whatever. 